Welcome to the Z Real Estate Mortgage Series. I'm joined here today by Eddie DeArmond of Citizens Bank of Las Cruces. Eddie, we're so excited to have you. We can't wait to answer some questions and help all of our viewers out there. Sure, sure. Eddie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, so I've been in the mortgage industry for 23 years. Been with Citizens Bank coming up on 13 years and uh, love the city and love to help new home buyers get homes. Right, and Eddie, you're from Las Cruces, right? I, not originally, but here most, most of, of my life, yeah. Okay, Close. very good. And I know you're an Aggie. I am definitely an Aggie. Great, I so definitely. I don't know if we let anybody else on the show if you're not, <laughs> but um, so Eddie, tell me if I want to get uh, a mortgage and I'm a wage earner, what do I need to, what do I need to bring? Sure, and this is very important to bring to the first application meeting. You want to bring your two most recently filed tax returns, federal tax returns. You also want to bring your company W-2s for those years. You want to bring your one month most current recent pay stubs. And you want to bring two months bank statements, all pages please. A lot of people just bring the first page, but we need to look at the complete bank statement. We're looking for large deposits to see if you went and uh, got some new credit that's not reporting on your credit report, new debt. Um, they're also looking for NSFs because that might be indicative of how you're going to pay the mortgage. And so these things are all very important. So all pages of the bank statements and two forms of ID. Now if you currently own a home, I'll need the mortgage statement, the most current mortgage statement. And what we're looking for there is we're seeing if your taxes and insurance that you have an escrow account with your current mortgage because we have to add that to your housing debt ratio. And if you have one that's free and clear, all we need is your most recent, uh, your current homeowner's insurance policy and your current property tax statement. 